not guilty. That's the verdict that's been handed down by stipendiary magistrate Charles Pito after a week-long trial and a weekend of waiting. Upon hearing the verdict, the former police commissioner was filled with emotion. He hugged his lawyers, he shook the hand of Crown Counsel before finding the arms of his family and friends who've been there to support him each day of the trial. The former police commissioner declined to comment as he left court. However, his lawyer Charles Gomez told GBC it's been seven weeks of hell in the context of three years of non-stop aggravation. One of his family and friends who've been here supporting him throughout the trial said it was another hurdle overcome, acknowledging there are more to come. We also spoke to the chairman of the Association of Retired Police Officers, Henry Sacramento, who's been here every day of the trial. What's your reaction to the news of his acquittal? I think it's fantastic news. Uh, the truth always comes through. As you say, I have been here with my vice chairman, Mr. Jimmy Ignacio, supporting Ian, who is an APO member. And based on the evidence presented, um, or lack of evidence, there could not be any other verdict than the one that the judge has passed today. So I think it's fantastic. The family has been put through uh, an unprecedented nightmare, because this is a nightmare. Uh, and we've been here to support Ian and his family throughout this ordeal. Ian McGrail arrived in court this morning and the tension was very visible on his face. Ahead of the verdict, stipendiary magistrate Charles Pito summed up the sexual assault case. He spoke of the letter of assurance offered to the complainant in return for her statement of complaint against Miss McGrail. He said there was no evidence of inducement and that the letter only offered the whistleblowing protections afforded under law. Mr. Pito also said the complainant's evidence was not reliable and that he preferred that of Mr. McGrail. He said statements she'd made in support of the alleged sexual assault had been contradicted by other evidence. Mr. Pito said it was the Crown's job to prove Mr. McGrail's guilt beyond reasonable doubt, something they didn't manage to do. It was on this basis he acquitted the former Commissioner of Police. You could see the relief on Mr. McGrail's face as the not guilty verdict was read out. However, his troubles aren't over yet. Police are currently investigating him in relation to misconduct in public office and the unlawful obtaining of personal data contrary to the Data Protection Act. And that's not forgetting the upcoming inquiry due later this year.